My name is Miata David Johnson. I'm founder and CEO of MVD Inc. Hi, my name is Masa David. I am co-founder of MVD Inc. MVD Inc. is a creative agency. We've done a lot of pre-awards dinners or awards events, album release events. One of the experiences most recently that people uh, are familiar with us from is the Wyoming listening event that we did for Kanye West. I'm a Liberian immigrant. My father was the mayor of Monrovia, so we actually left Liberia after the coup. Our parents really, it was what they instilled in us at, you know, when we moved to the States and just in general, that I think really helped to determine and our work ethic and the kind of company that we would eventually form. I watched my father kind of build his self from the ground up. He went from being the mayor to basically selling shoes just to support the family. And he eventually opened his own business. And I saw early on what it means to be an entrepreneur. We really stand out in this industry because it is male dominated. You don't find a lot of female event producers and just a lot of females in positions of power in our business. So it's been always extremely challenging because you're constantly showing and proving why you belong in the room. I think for two women, um, not just two women, but also siblings and African-American women, we make it a point to hire um, other women. It's rare to see that, especially in this industry and just in Hollywood in general. One of definitely our funniest, craziest moments, I would say, in events is we did an event in New York not too long ago. He was brand new, but people were excited about him. We did it at an art gallery, and basically the whole vibe of the album was anarchy. So, you know, the artist wanted to have a vibe that would be fun and easy, and his friends could really just have a good time. But we maybe, I would say maybe six hours prior to Doors opening, we found out that somebody actually posted the invite on Twitter and Instagram to their millions of followers. We basically had all of New York outside. We start texting the lady and everyone and turns out one of his friends leaked the invite and next thing you know our door was just bombarded. We had to basically scramble, make sure that we got more security, let the city know so that we wouldn't get shut down. It was definitely mayhem. And my sister was actually on the ground in New York and I was in LA. So I was doing this remotely. It got to the point where I had to get behind the bar and start serving drinks. Like it was that crazy. The event started. It was absolutely insane. It was chaotic. It was like an old school Lower East Side party. You know, got everyone in. Everyone's having an amazing time. People are drinking. They're vibing. And the next Next thing you know, the music turns off. And I'm running over to the DJ booth like, why are you turning the mu music off? What's going on? At this point, he's definitely tipsy. He's he's gone. He's just on cloud nine. But he's pissed because he thinks someone stole his cell phone. I remember reliving it on social media because I wasn't there. So I was looking at the feeds and watching how he lost his phone at the venue and made everybody turn the music off. So he gets on the mic and he starts cursing. He's like, I know one of you did it and no more party, everyone leave. Everyone's laughing and ignoring him and just pulling out their phones to record it. He tells someone next to him, like, call my phone. So they call his cell phone and literally there was probably about 500 people there and we all got quiet. So everyone's like, shh, listening out for the phone. He calls it, we hear it, and he calls it again. At this point, everyone in the party is searching, trying to find his phone. Turns out he forgot that he left it at the DJ booth under the DJ's backpack. So he finds it, he, he throws it in the air, everyone loses their mind, screaming, the music comes back on. I mean, it was just, it was insane. It was probably one of my favorite events. The artist, he still talks about it. He actually put it in one of his songs. What I learned is watch over my client's social media um, because you sometimes get surprised as to seeing your event posted on their social media before the event even starts. I think that event really taught me that regardless of how much you prepare and plan and think ahead, you just have to be ready and prepared for the unexpected. Hi. Hi. I think that working with siblings or working with family gets a bad rap. When you figure out your rhythm, you have a trusted partner for life. Follow your own path and regardless of any industry that you go into, don't try to change and conform to what people want you to be, but celebrate what makes you different.